Hello dear children. Today we are going to study about gait of animals. Gait is the pattern of movement of the limbs of animals during locomotion. How do animals move? Animals use their limbs in a different way to move from one place to another. These include flying, crawling, slithering, swimming, creeping and walking. Different animals have different ways to move from one place to the other. Gait of an earthworm. The body of an earthworm is made up of many rings joined end to end. An earthworm does not have bones. It has muscles that help to extend and shorten the body. During movement, the earthworm first extends the front part of the body, keeping the rear portion fixed to the ground. Then it fixes the front end and releases the rear end. It then shortens the body and pulls the rear end forward. This makes it move forward by a small distance. Repeating such muscle expansions and contractions, the earthworm can move through soil. The body secretes a slimy substance to help the movement. Also, under the body are large numbers of tiny bristles. Bristles means hair-like structures projecting out. The bristles are connected with the muscles and help to get a good grip on the ground. The earthworm actually eats its way through the soil. Its body then throws away the undigested part of the material that it eats. This activity of an earthworm makes the soil more useful for plants. Gait of a snail. The rounded structure a snail carries on its back is called the shell and it is the outer skeleton of the snail but is not made of bones. The shell is a single unit and does not help in moving from place to place. It has to be dragged along. The snail can even hide its head inside the shell. For movement, a thick structure and the head of the snail come out of an opening in the shell. The thick structure is its foot made of strong muscles. The under surface of muscular foot is lubricated with mucus, which helps in movement and also reduces the risk of injury from sharp objects. Waves of muscular contractions along this surface help a snail move. Gait of cockroach. Cockroaches walk, climb and also fly in the air. They have three pairs of legs. These help in walking. The body is covered with a hard outer skeleton. This outer skeleton is made of different units joined together and that permits movement. There are two pairs of wings attached to the breast. The cockroaches have distinct muscles. Those near the legs move the legs for walking. The breast muscles move the wings when the cockroach flies. Gait of fish. The head and the tail of the fish are smaller than the middle portion of the body and the body tapers at both ends. This body shape is called streamlined. The shape is such that water can flow around it easily and allow the fish to move fast in water. The skeleton of the fish is covered with strong muscles. During swimming, the muscles make the front part of the body curve to one side and the tail part swings towards the opposite side. The fish forms a curve then quickly the body and tail curve to the other side. This makes a jerk and pushes the body forward. A series of such jerks make the fish swim ahead.
This is had by the fins of the tail. The tail moves from side to side and helps the fish swim in the right direction. Fish also have other fins on their body which mainly help to keep the balance of the body and to keep direction while swimming. Gait of birds. Birds fly in the air and walk on the ground. Some birds like ducks and swans also swim in water. The birds can fly because their bodies are well suited for flying. Their bones are hollow and light. The bones of the hind limbs are typically for walking and perching. The bony parts of the forelimbs are modified as wings. The shoulder bones are strong. The breast bones are modified to hold the muscles of flight, which are used to move the wings up and down. The tail controls the directions of flight. Gait of snakes. Snakes have a long backbone and many thin muscles. These are connected to each other even though they are far from one another. The muscles also interconnected the backbone, ribs and skin. It is this interconnected muscles that helps them slither. Snakes move in S-shaped loops and in a zigzag manner. Each loop of the snake gives it a forward push by pressing against the ground. Since its long body makes many loops and each loop gives it this push, the snake moves forward very fast and not in a straight line. Snakes have difficulty in moving on very smooth surfaces but can move in grass, sand and water. They can even climb trees though they do not have arms or legs.